he was using ice picks and climbing on right. icicles. Yeah, it is. Oh a, my God, that was such a great movie. Yeah, I mean, he he decided that regular rock climbing wasn't scary enough, and, you know. And Alex talked about him uh, admirably. You know, like Al, sure. Alex was like, this guy was so good. He was such a good climber that to him, he needed really dangerous things to get him jazzed up. So right. he would climb in like Argentina, these mountains covered in ice in the winter. Dude. It's like. And he got caught in a landslide or, yeah. you know, in a, a um, avalanche. Yep. Right? Not yeah. In, yeah. And it, it wasn't like a, he screwed up. They never even recovered his body. Right. He's part of the fucking glacier now. Right. Dude, but and when you climb, <sighs> like for anybody who climbs Mount Everest, don't you just like climb past like skeletal yes. remains? Like, yeah. Yeah. They leave the bodies. Yeah. You climb past them they, and they're white. Because like they're 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 basically just completely frozen solid, and and it's just like a white piece of meat, and then the the clothing is like ripped apart, so you can see the flesh underneath it. It's hard as a rock. It's like so. Wait, it's frozen all year round. It never thaws. Never thaws. Wow. Yeah, they're just up there, frozen like a rock forever. Yeah. And they leave the bodies there because it's too dangerous to bring them back. Like they've there's a lot of people that are like there's a dead guy that you pass by. I mean, these people that are up there doing it, like, look at that guy. Whoa. Yeah, died. There's 200 bodies up there. Jesus. At least. They haven't done the official number. <laughs> oh. Over 300 people Mother have died. Motherfucker. How many people die climbing Everest every year? Over 300 total have died. So I don't know about every year. Mm. 311, I said, it's just said is the... Uh... They die every year, though. You know what's fascinating to me is how, like, deliberate people are to avoid contemplating their own mortality. Mm, this is a weird one. The, the Everest one's a weird one. Because it's also, it's like, I mean, I, I admire people that want to take challenges on and, and do things that are very difficult because I, I'm just guessing that the sense of accomplishment after you do it is probably pretty extraordinary. But <laughs> the other hand, like, fuck, man, you're passing by people who didn't make it. Right. You know, two climbers found a woman alone and dying, yelling, please don't leave me. But were forced to continue and let her die as they had no means to help her and staying would risk their own lives. They felt so guilty. They spent years saving up enough money to finally return and give her a proper burial. Oh, my God. So what, what, made, what made them able to hang out with her the second oh time? Oh, my God. I know, right? <laughs> oh, hey, this is that lady that we didn't save. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It's so crazy. Yeah, I, I read the story about this woman who climbed Mount Everest because she wanted to prove that um, being a vegan didn't make you weak, and she died. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's there's nuts. another one. Look at that body. Fuck that. Frozen, pale, white. The bo scroll back. The body was named Green Boots, perhaps the most well-known body on Everest. His real name was Sway Swang Pajor. He died during the 1996 Mount Everest disaster. While descending from the summit, he was trapped in a blizzard and died due to exposure. Um, is there another mountain that people die like crazy? They die on K2. Yeah, K2 kills a lot of people. And then there's other mountains where, where like, that's one of the things they covered in the Alpinist, where, like, a quarter of the people who try to summit it die. <laughs> man. Yeah, these pe fucking people, man. They just, they look at this, 29% fatality rate. More than a quarter. The main peak of Annapurna Massif is the most dangerous of the world's mountains with a 29% fatality rate of everyone who tries to climb it. Since 1900, an estimated 244 expeditions have resulted in 72 deaths. Fuck. And the next most dangerous, uh, Kang Chen Juana. With a slightly higher death rate. 29.1% death rate. Yes. Yeah. 29%. K2, almost as dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Everest, Everest, by contrast, is a 4% fatality rate. So Everest is for pussies. <laughs> what was what about people this? <laughs> <laughs> Still 4%. Yeah. You go up with 100 people, four of them are going to die. Right. I think that... <sighs> um, I, I think that uh, so many people are just hyper-focused on not like contemplating their mortality. Mm -hmm. That... Like that, they they fail to live deliberately, like while they're alive. 
There's that. There's an argument for that. Yeah, there's people that don't want to take any risks at all. Right. Listen, I, listen, I certainly take risks. I'm I mean, not suggesting that that you that you should take risks or, or or anything like that. I just think that by 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 living with your blinders on, mm-hmm. you know, like I, I have this theory that uh, you know, particularly in in Western civilization, like like in America, like where, where where we live, like actually being old is like a fucking party foul. You know, people don't want to like pe- people want to take elderly folks and just shuttle them into a nursing home and not deal with them, not look at them like it's it, 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 like old people serve as a reminder of your mortality. And it just bums people out like being old is a party foul. Well, there's that. But there's also people can't take care of people. They don't have the ability. If you're working full time and you have a career and a family and your father is unable to take care of himself anymore, you're left with a limited amount of options. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to abandon your life for the next 10 years so that you can take care of this person 24 hours a day? Or are you going to put him in some sort of a medical facility? But then the big fear is that he gets abused there. That is the saddest, scariest shit when you you see those videos of people getting abused in nursing homes, like hidden camera footage of... The last days of your life, some young asshole is fucking smacking you in the head and shoving your face in food. I haven't seen any of those videos. Oh, I'm glad those are I have horrible. Not. They're horrible. And yeah, and, and maybe it's not about putting people in nursing homes, but I just think that there's a real, like, a, a real, like, like living with the blinders on, like, like I don't want to think about it, la, 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 la. And then you end up, you know further down the road thinking like oh man why didn't i do this why didn't i do that as opposed to really like being deliberate and 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 living the life you would want to have lived when it's coming to an end 